it going guys this is probably going i'm trying to make this my biggest what if because i know it's going to be my do my most detailed hopefully the best it's going to be incredibly detailed and i'm going to completely change the structure of the world of dragon ball in some ways give the saiyans an incredibly detailed system if anything it might be close inside the territory of fanfic but huh, this would it's not going to be straying away where I'm just completely crapping on this story of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z as well as Super. But it's going to be quite a bit different than the Dragon Ball you know. Anyway, let's start the let's start the background information before I start the what if because if I do not you're going to be confused. Anyway, let's begin. The Saiyans aren't actually in servitude of Frieza, they're actually at war with Frieza, even holding their own. And Frieza's hesitant to make a move because he knows the might of the Sand King as well as his generals. Sand King Vegeta has a power level of 5 million. But, well, he actually does have access to the Super Saiyan transformation. Bardock, his top ranking general, has a power level of 3.5 million. But he's not able to access the Super Saiyan transformation. However, he is incredibly loyal to King Vegeta. Prince Vegeta has a power level of around a million. No Super Saiyan. Anyway. Let's begin. We start this video off with Goku being drafted into the Saiyan military from a very uh, early age. Him being the son of a general, his potential. He was born at this point when he first entered the military. He has a power level of around 10,000. The average power level of the soldiers in the military are 50,000 each. Raditz is much higher, has a much higher position to him, with him actually being part of Prince Vegeta's personal squad, having a power level of around 250,000. And Nappa being Prince Vegeta's advisor with 350,000. Goku is much more sadistic and the like, seeing how no bump to the head caused him to be good. Anyway, let's begin. Upon upon Goku's draft into the army, he's he's given formal training. He doesn't get to see his father much. His father was only present for his birth and a few other times. The only time he really had an in-depth conversation with his father was a couple of weeks ago, before he was drafted in. He's told that he'll be joining the army pretty soon. Goku has no real qualms with this. Him and Bardock have a conversation. First one he really has with his father. Goku is mainly raised by Gine. Raditz isn't home because of his duties as well. We cut to Goku right now. He makes his way to the base. When he first, first arrives there, he gets in the place along with the other soldiers. The commander walks up to Goku, singling him out, make, telling him and making sure that he knows that just because he's the son of a general doesn't mean he gets any type of special treatment. Goku quickly agrees. The commander thinks Goku's being kind of smart with him, so he punches Goku in the face, sends him flying back somewhat. This angers Goku a bit, but he knows it's better to stay obedient tend to attack his commanding officer. If everything arrived, they begin the basics. Hand-to-hand -hand combat and key control. Goku quickly makes his way up the, up the ladder, him being one of the most talented Saiyans there. He begins fighting with everyone, winning each and every one of his fights. After around two weeks there, and he's even he's even ranked up, receiving the rank of pri private rather than trainee. He spends most of his time with the older recruits, seeing how the younger ones aren't really his opponents. He spends his time socializing and fighting with them, along with having meals with them. This is Goku's first deployment. The battle with the Frieza Force is still going on. Frieza is actually quite a bit stronger. 
He has cybernetic enhancements, which I had to give that to him because if not, he would have been immediately killed by King Vegeta. Anyway, Goku makes his first, this is his first battle. He's put with a three-man squad. He doesn't really know these people, but he has to trust them, seeing how they're going to be one, being the ones watching his back. When they drop down on the planet, planet they see nothing but carnage explosions everywhere around them innocents even being killed this doesn't really bother goku too much but they're quickly found out with a group of with a group of soldiers actually coming after them attacking them they have no real problem with these guys they're just small fry each of them only have a power level of around a thousand 1.5 thousand, if they're lucky. So they're no real challenge against these uh, against these elite troops. Goku's power level is around 1250, well, 12,500. He got a light, nice little boost in training camp. The people around him are irrelevant because they're fodder. Goku arrives, sees the first man in front of him. And this one's different than, than the others. He goes off a different atmosphere. And you can tell from the clothes that he's wearing, he's a higher rank than the others. Goku makes the first move with the man or a creature blocking his attack and then being thrown back somewhat. His two teammates then attack simultaneously but they're quickly shut down and even killed by the man. Goku picks himself up. He's not really worried about their deaths, seeing how they, he didn't know them as well. He realizes that he'll have to fight with his head if he wants to get out of here alive. The man tells him that he should just get on his knees and wait for death. He's the second strongest person on this planet. Second to the king himself, or the man who calls himself the king who is actually another dog for Lord Frieza. Goku stays incredibly silent. The man attacks the child. He's not fighting as, he's not fighting at his fullest strength because he's underestimates Goku and he has kind of a cocky, sadistic nature. Goku takes full account of this and lets the man attack him twice. When the third attack comes, him loosening up his guard, Goku comes toward him with a key blast to his chest. This doesn't puncture through the man, however, it's able to scorch his skin quite badly and leave pretty bad wounds. The wound causes the man to bleed. He gets angry and lunges toward Goku again with full intent of killing him. The man sends a fist toward Goku, which shatters the ground beneath him, with Goku dodging this. His armor was kind of shattered just from the shockwave punch. But this is exactly what he wanted. The man's injured at this point. His side, so his mobility is kind of cut off. Goku makes his man makes his way toward him. With the man with nothing and nothing but a blind rage, tries to grab Goku, crush trying to crush him. Goku slides underneath his arms. And sends a key blast to the back of this man's head, giving him a concussion, causing him to seize up in nothing but delusion, not realizing what's going on around him. Goku gets above him, focusing his key into his hand, and sending an attack at this man. This is his own personal attack that he made up when he was in boot camp. It's called Galactic Duster. He kills the man, which buys him enough time to get away from the area, as well as recoup from some of his injuries. He was told when he first got here that they'll be on this planet for around two weeks, and it's their job to hold it back or take it over, while the main forces attack some of the more important planets. The reason they do this is because they don't want this planet itself 
as well as the other small ones to create a force to flank the main army anyway that's the end of this part part two will come out if you guys want it i hope you guys want it because i really want to do the series like a lot i might even start scripting the series and i don't script anything what i do is i make points that i want to include inside the story itself and i integrate it into what i'm saying I, I kind of get away from scripting because I don't want to be I don't want the story to be locked down because I often change what I do with some of these stories anyway I hope you like this like and subscribe tell your friends I'm trying to make this large what if guys large one I'm I'm hoping that this what if will be the what if that'll make my channel surpass its limits and go super sane when we start to grow even more even though we're going completely crazy right now we have been since the channel started anyway thanks guys hope your day is going well and see you next time